Now, a former Kansas City detective is trying to get released from jail after only one day behind bars. Good evening, I'm Laura Moritz. And I am Bria Berry. And for Chris, this move follows a court of appeals judge's decision to uphold Eric DeVaconier's conviction. KMC 9's Andy Alcock is outside the Jackson County Courthouse downtown with reaction right now. Andy. DeVaconier's attorney filed this motion to potentially get his client out of jail while other legal options remain, including a possible appeal to Missouri's Supreme Court. Eric DeVaconier turned himself in to the Platte County Jail just before noon Tuesday. He may not be there long. In 2021, the former detective was convicted of involuntary manslaughter for killing Cameron Lamb. DeVolcanier was sentenced to six years in prison, but he's been out of jail on an appeal bond. His attorney is now asked to be reinstated. Well, there's nothing I can do about it. Civil rights activists say the conviction of a white police officer for killing a black man may be unprecedented in Kansas City. There was no need at all for them to even have been at the property. Jackson County Executive Frank White and lawmakers Jalen Anderson and Manny Abarca recently helped approve a resolution supporting Lamb's family and calling on Governor Parson not to pardon DeVolcanier. I call on all governments. I call on all elected officials. Ask Governor Parson not to pardon Detective DeVolcanier. Cameron Lamb was my one and only son. He was a son that was loved by all who knew him. While Jackson County elected leaders were here at today's news conference, none of their Kansas City counterparts who oversee KCPD showed up. At the Jackson County Courthouse, Andy Alcock, KMBC 9 News. A spokesman for Governor Mike Parson said DeVolcanier has made no formal request for a pardon. He also said there have been numerous calls and requests made on DeVolcanier's behalf.